Welcome to Tying Michigan's Best Trout Flies. Today we're going to talk about hackling parachute trout flies and specifically about using the right size hackle to hackle these flies. So let's get started. Yeah, I just wanted to revisit this thought about how do we hackle a, a, a parachute, how do you size it, things like that. It was mentioned earlier in an, in an earlier video, but I thought it would be good to, re, to revisit this because I notice, uh, again, I'm watching videos all the time, and I notice that uh, parachute hackle uh, sometimes, quite frankly, is lacking. I've got a, a, a posted uh, hook in the, in the vise there, and when you hackle parachutes, it's really essential that, that the, the hackle for a parachute be bigger than what you would use on a standard dry fly. And usually one to two sizes larger than you would on a standard dry fly. Now, I know tires like uh, Kelly Gallup uh, feel the same way. Uh, Jerry Regan, a well-known uh, Michigan tire and the keeper of the flame with, for Michigan patterns, would tell you exactly the same thing. There's a purpose for using bigger hackle on parachute flies. But so now, so how do you determine how to hackle that if you want a size or two bigger than you normally would have? Well, the easiest way I found to do it is to simply, when you get to this point with your fly, just take your hackle, you can measure it on this pair, on right, right here on the parachute. Just put the hackle around it and pull it out. And if your hackle comes out, it, you want it to come at least to where the bend starts, preferably all the way to the bend of the hook, just like this hackle is. If it comes out that far, that's a properly hackled parachute. So you have the gauge right here in front of you. Just wrap your hackle around it, and if it comes out this far, uh, that's, that's, that fly is gonna float really well. Now, the reason I'm talking about this type of hackle on parachutes and making it bigger like this is because it aids in the flotation of the fly. Uh, I watched some videos and they talk about things like uh, don't make the post too high because it'll cause the fly to tip over. Well, that's not what causes parachute flies to tip over. Just by way of demonstration here, I've tied a fly already that has a, 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 a it's a, on a size 12 hook, I think, but it, I posted it so that the post is so high that it would probably be done usable on a size 6 hook, the post itself, and yet you'll notice that this fly does not tip over. The reason it doesn't tip over is because it's been properly hackled. The key to having your flies float upright and not tipping over is not the height of the post. It's being properly hackled. So I hope you picked up a tip or two and we'll see you the next time.